so let's talk about a product that it's not necessarily going to make you a better squirrel hunter. What it's going to do is allow you to load your 2245 pistol with confidence every time. That product made by this company, Tandem Cross. They're plus one base plates for your Ruger magazines. Which by plus one means you can get an extra round in. So now your 10 round magazines turn into an 11 round magazine. And I think that's pretty awesome. The fit and finish on these base plates are pretty outstanding. The only places I've had to sand is right here where I, assuming it came out of the mold, there was a little bit of a rough edge there. Easy job just to sand that off. Now smooth, well made, nice, good, good, uh, solid polymer. So, let's talk about the Ruger Factory Magazine for a second. This is an inferior base plate. I don't know why Ruger continues to manufacture them other than it being inexpensive and eh, air quotes, it does work. But what this magazine base plate will do for you in place of this is worth your money. So let's take a look at why this is inferior. So I'm going to take my Ruger 2245 with the bull barrel and insert this magazine with my palm. Okay, I just inserted it. You didn't hear a click. I didn't hear a click. I wasn't touching the magazine release. Take a look at that magazine. You can see on camera, that's not in the magazine well. I can take my index finger, my thumb, pull it out. I press again, still not. Most Ruger 2245 owners know that you either have to use a thumb or a finger to press up into that magazine recess and actually get that magazine to seat as it should. To me, that's an inferior product. So let's take a look at Tandem Cross's product. Big extended base plate. Go up into the magazine well with the palm. No palm meat extending into the magazine recess. I've seated that mag successfully. I can do it over and over and it seats every time. I may not get that lucky with that magazine base plate. So, that's why to me, that product is inferior. And that's why every one of my magazines from now on, and all the ones I currently own, are wearing a tandem cross base plate. So, let's discuss installing that base plate. So, before I actually do it, tandem cross sends an excellent set of instructions with their base plates. So, this company really looking out for their customers. They're also, as a statement that I've seen, are wanting to provide options to customers for, you know, products that the, that the manufacturers won't even consider, which I think is great. Anyway, let's go on to uninstalling the factory base and install into new base. Get into focus here. Get yourself a punch. You'll see your little uh, plunger right there in the bottom of your magazine base pad. You're going to press down on that while forcing forward with your other thumb. Sorry, I got it caught. To press that plate off. Be prepared because that spring will launch that plunger if you don't ride your thumb over that base plate as you remove it. You can see it right there. So old base plate off. Same area on the new plus one base plate. Right there is where you're going to press down on that plunger while retaining it with your opposite hand thumb. Springs catching a little bit for me there. If I can get this on camera. So I'm going to press down just as you see right there. As soon as that goes into that recess, I should be able to push to the rear as you see here and click plungers in place magazine base plate is set but wait you're not finished remember this is a plus one base plate so we got one more step you're gonna need something sturdy to get up against edge of a table this fairing strip right here is gonna work for me you're gonna take that button that you use to ease loading on the side of the magazine and you're gonna fully reset the memory of that spring so, while pressing down on the side of this board, or this fairing strip, come on, focus, there we go. 
I'm going to press all the way down into this recess right here. This magazine's already been conditioned, so it's extremely easy. So expect some resistance when you do it the first time. So I'm all the way down into that recess now. Now I've done it to the point where I need to actually check and see if 11 rounds will go in. So why don't we do that? I've got 11 rounds of 22 long rifle. We're gonna test this magazine to make sure it holds that plus one round. So it's gonna make 10 to 11, which is great because most 22s are manufactured in 10 round capacities. So actually you could load your firearm and top off and actually have 11 plus one, which equals 12, which is pretty unheard of in the pistol round. There's 11 rounds right there. You're going to see that this magazine uh, loading aid or whatever you want to call it is further down than normal. There's your 11 rounds in the magazine. Pretty neat. Great product. Great company. I think it deserves your time at a look. If you order them in quantity, you can get them for a cheaper price. These base plates cost me $5 a piece. To me, it's worth the non-headache of when I shove that magazine into that magazine well. It contacts, locks up every time. No more fumbling around with the inferior Ruger magazine base plate. Tandem Cross, thank you for a great product. All right, guys. Nate Bone Buster's a tree squirrel sniper is out on this one. See you next time.